someone requested the pom-pom top so you're getting the pom-pom top. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and to this month's episode of Person Place Thing where I will be highlighting a person, a place and a thing. So the person I wanted to highlight this month is Jessica Bogdanov. Hope I'm saying that right, probably not, never am. AKA Russian Red. Now I know a lot of you will have heard of her already. She's already got quite a big social media following. But I think sometimes it's good to shout out people who already have a bit of a following and are doing quite well because they've worked hard to get there and there's a reason that they're doing well and maybe there are some of you out there who haven't heard of her and I think you should have. So, I'm gonna shout her out this month. So as far as I'm aware, she is an ex-rhythmic gymnast. You'll often see her posting things on Instagram with a hoop or a ball or a ribbon. Are there any other rhythmic-y, gymnastic -y things? Can't think of any. But nowadays she is more well known for her calisthenics slash street workout style stuff. So you'll often see her posting cool bar combos, really sick hand balancey stuff, like one handed handstands like they're nothing. She's so talented, it's really really cool, you have to go and check her out. And on top of that, occasionally you'll see her posting some free running moves as well, which naturally I approve of. And yeah, it's just really really cool to see, go and check her out. Then the place I want to talk about this month is an entire country. <laughs> Perhaps I should have narrowed that down a bit, but whatever, I'm rolling with it. I went to Iceland recently with my family and I absolutely loved it. It's one of those countries that I've been wanting to visit for such a long time and it really did not disappoint. The scenery is just amazing, we went whale watching, we went searching for puffins and it was just so much fun and I would highly, highly recommend going if you're looking for somewhere to visit and you like nature. On that note actually, my sister Livy started a YouTube channel recently and her first vlog is up and it's from our trip to Iceland and I really like it, I think you might like it too, so I shall link that in the description and if you want to go and check it out, please do and like, comment and subscribe and let her know you came over from my channel so she can thank me. Then finally, the thing I wanted to talk about this month is again quite a broad topic. I really need to narrow these down a bit, don't I? Anyway, I wanted to talk about clothing in the free running community and in particular how I'm so impressed with how free running teams and brands have really pushed the boat out more in the last, I don't know, six months even, coming up with some really creative designs and not just selling merch, like not just plain t-shirts with the logo on, but really being a bit more edgy sometimes with their designs. I mean, Street Media came out with some velour shorts, which some people hate, but I love. I think they're great, and I just love that they've done something a bit different. And yeah, one of the things I wanted to mention, actually, was my new jacket that I bought from The Motors Projects. I flipping love it. I've been wearing it everywhere, and I feel like it looks like something you could see in a cool high street shop. <laughs> cool high street shop. I sound like such a mum, don't I? Hmm. So shout out to them, and all of the free running brands that are really going crazy with their styles. Not crazy, but cool. You know what I'm saying? Okay, it's come to the end of a long day for me. <laughs> I think I should end this video here. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I shall see you next time. Bye!